The latest about Kim Ming Jae. This transfer is definitely going to happen. It's definitely in the pipeline. We have the latest from Kim Ming Jae, who is a South Korean football player, one of the best defenders you definitely will know. Right about now, I have to say, I have to welcome you and say hello everyone and thank you for being part of the United Chapter and make your point, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you do not miss out on what Ava we've definitely got to bring to you as long as it is ported, as long as it is Manchester United related, right about here at the United Chapter with me, your host Abu Kals, as we talk sports and as we talk everything Manchester United related. Kim Ming Jae is the football player that we are talking about, there's been a bit of uh there's been quite a lot of news actually no a bit of there's been a lot of news recently about uh kim ming jay and him joining the club manchester united and also paris saint germain being linked to uh the manchester united target in paris saint germain offering him 50 million pound to join the club in manchester united still realizing uh trying to analyze the situation and uh, making sure they can have the best of bids for kim min jay and i must say let's dig deep i've got quite good news for you i've got good news for you about kim min jay uh, so you will be remember that the defenders at manchester united first of all are uh, looking at harry maguire harry maguire is up for sale definitely but this is not the first time harry maguire has been up for sale from reliable sources harry maguire have been has been up for sale for some time but clubs are not interested in buying him that is something that is quite sad for the club manchester united but harry maguire a very good defender but not the best of defenders i must say uh because he's had a few problems uh, with manchester united and right about now uh harry maguire is looking at leaving the club manchester united he's he was bought uh, by manchester united from uh leicester city at 80 million pound and getting that money out of harry maguire has been something that's very complicated with manchester united uh definitely looking at making a big a loss uh getting him they're going to uh, they're going to sell him at giveaway price that's what i must say and that's what eric ten Hag is definitely looking at and again also let's see let's see let's see looking at uh what is available for manchester united phil jones also left the club recently uh is uh, Phil Jones is no longer a Manchester United football player. He's left the club. After 12 years, Phil Jones left the club. That definitely leaves a big gap for Kim Ming Jae. Uh, his wages can be catered for. United is no longer paying the wages they were paying to uh, a football player who was not playing for a very long time. I know it wasn't his, uh, his fault. It wasn't his fault because he got any injury, then kept having hopes maybe he'll play again. But things didn't go on quite well until uh he's left manchester united and right about now kim ming jay definitely is a very good one and linked to the club manchester united there's been a bit of a struggle with manchester united and psg psg saying we are definitely going to be giving him everything that he wants a good wage and for starters we're getting him at 50 million pound but manchester united can pay uh more than 50 million pound but i uh, i won't say that manchester united is going to uh is go is in a better position than uh, than Paris Saint Germain when it comes to income. I mean Paris Saint Germain pays when you see the red the, the the amount of money they pay Neymar the amount of money they pay um uh, Lionel Messi or Mbappe ridiculous amounts of money and so they could be paying him bigger wage, a bigger wage, but also even if, even it, even they can double his transfer value, uh, get him whatsoever. But I mean, United has got a very big history, and I think Kim Ming Jae would love to be part of the history at Manchester United. So we could could we see. Uh, could we see a double swoop of uh, two football players because uh, from Napoli? Uh, Kim Ming Jae is a, a centre back at Napoli. And Manchester United is already looking at uh, a, fo uh, a football player, Napoli football player, Victor Usman, who is also being linked to a big number of clubs, including actually Paris Saint Germain. So Paris Saint Germain, uh, for some reason, is uh, also going for uh, Victor Usman. So 
Uh, could we see a double swoop? Do, is it possible for Manchester United to get Kim Ming Jae and also get uh, uh, Victor Schmidt? The chance of Manchester United doing that is definitely very, very low. Absolutely low. But uh, I think there will be one football player who will join the club, Manchester United. But if they can get them both, why not? We saw Manchester United getting Lisandro Martinez and Anthony uh, from Ajax. Double, double figures, double players. Definitely that, that was okay. That was definitely fun of seeing it do it. So uh, if Man United can do it again, why not? Uh, but Kim Ming Jae, as, uh, as I told you, him as a football player, I think he would love to join Match United. And uh, for those of you who do not know who this football player is, Kim Ming Jae, give you a little bit of a biography. Kim Ming Jae is a South Korean professional football player who plays as a centre back for Serie A club Napoli, and uh, Napoli, which just won the. Serie A title in very many years. He just recently won the Serie A title. And the last time they won the Serie A title was around 30 years ago or 32 years ago with uh, with Diogo Maradona. Uh, Maradona was still in Napoli then when they won the Serie A. And right about now, history has repeated itself after a very long period of time. Victor Usman helps Napoli. Victor Usman and uh, a very good uh, centre-back Kim Min Jae helped Napoli to make sure they can head the Serie A. Uh, uh, sorry, um, yeah, to be uh, to be on top of the Serie A table, and uh, they took the Serie A. Anyway, uh, right about now, still telling you about uh, this gentleman uh, who plays for the Serie A club uh, uh, Napoli. And also a South Korea national team uh, known for his size, aggressive style of play. And is also uh, called, guess what he is called? Guess what he is called? What is Kim Min Jae called? He's called the monster. The monster. And you know when you've got a football player like him. In the in the defense, you know, if you've got a football player like Kim Jae in the defense, you're definitely very comfortable. It's like it's like the days, the gone days when we used to have uh, a defense that had uh, defenders who. Let me try and remember. Let me try and remember. Rio Ferdinand. You know, when we had Rio Ferdinand in the defense, sometimes when the ball went to the defense section, we always knew. Oh, whoa sorted that is definitely sorted they're going nowhere you don't expect any any rubbish mistakes of Ferdinand no no chance same thing with Kim Ming Jae no no sense football player makes no no sense clearances definitely a very good one and the fact that we've got uh, 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 we've got a few defenders who are very okay uh, who are good football players but having Kim Ming Jae in there is going to be massive. I mean, it's going to be one of the best things Manchester United will have done this transfer season. Uh, because when you see his hate, I mean, you need a football player 1.8 meters and above for a defender. I mean, a, f a football player like uh, Harry, like, uh, like uh, Van Dijk, very good defender, you know, because of his hate. Very good defender because of his hate. And He's around 1.9. And also, Kim Ming Jae is 1.9 meters. 1.9 meters. Very good height for a defender. So that will definitely be okay. That will definitely be okay. And he's been playing brilliantly uh, very well. And it will be remember that Kim Ming Jae agreed to join Manchester United, uh, who are expected to pay his release clause that is around 60 million euros. With the fact that uh, Manchester United was linked and United was linked to uh, sorry, no United. Kim Ming Jae was linked to Manchester United and also linked to uh, Paris Saint Germain. Paris Saint Germain saying they are going to pay 50 million euros, and uh, Manchester United saying they are paying 60 million euros. Definitely, that is a great thing for the club Manchester United. So, uh, them knowing the situation and understanding the situation and saying, oh, uh, the 50 million euros that uh, PSG is willing to give him, uh, I think PSG will have to value, is it worth giving him the 50 million part? Is it worth giving him more? Manchester United comes and says, 60 million pound, not a big problem for us. A uh, million euros is not a big problem for us. We will definitely give you a decent wage. We will give you a lot of exposure 
Asia International Recognition and also we give you a lot of pride on your name, Kim Ming J, Manchester United centre back. You know what that means? I mean, that definitely is gonna be something big. And I know if he's looking at making his a uh, game better, I mean you can stay in Napoli. Napoli is a very good club. I mean it's taken the series it's been it's a uh, it's uh, it's been on top. It's uh, finished number one in the Serie A. But, I mean, we are not talking about the Serie A. We're talking about the most competitive league in the world. And we're talking about the Premier League, you know. Uh, Premier League, you can compare Premier League with any other. No can even compare it to the La Liga. You can compare it to uh, Bundesliga. You cannot compare it to any other league Serie A, no it's the premier league there is that weight that the premier league has i mean there's always that way the premier league definitely has and uh, the fact that uh all that weight the premier league definitely holds a football player playing for a top club in the premier league definitely it makes your game much better so if he can come and prove that if he goes to manchester united if the monster goes to manchester united and um if the monster goes to manchester united and is able to stop the likes of hurricane uh the uh, hurricane could end up at manchester united and you could not have to stop him anyway but the likes of arling Haaland, you know they could strike us they're very good strikers in the, uh in the premier league if he can stop the likes of uh, of arling Haaland, he can stop the likes of uh, gabriel jesus said in ketia uh mason mount could end up at manchester united uh Big, 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 big names, big names, big names and uh, big strikers in the Premier League are uh, the likes of Ivan Tone. Uh, those, there could not be a problem, you know, uh, for him. Uh, looking at, we need to look at uh, uh, strikers in the Premier League and uh, whether we think whether we think he could be uh, he could be in a position of stopping them. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh okay. Like Mohamed Salah, could he be could Mo Salah be uh could Kim Ming J easily stop Mo Salah? I think so. But Mo Salah can be a bit complicated, you know, can be a bit tricky. Uh then Hurricane could be moving to Manchester United. We we shouldn't compare him. Uh, Gabriel Martinelli can easily be stopped by Kim Ming Jae. We could be seeing games Kim Ming Jae saying, uh Gabriel Martinelli, you're going nowhere. Alexander Mitrovic, very good football player, very good forward, can be a bit tricky. I don't know why uh, Alexander Mitrovic or he does he's no subject to any he doesn't want to move. I mean Mitrovic Anyway, age is getting up on him, but he's loved to play for Fulham. Even when opportunities came for him to uh, leave Fulham for better clubs, he's refused. He's just wanted to play for Fulham. He's gone to, with Fulham to uh, the. He's gone to, with Fulham to um, to relegation and come back with it. And even now, when a number of clubs are interested in Mitrovic, he's saying, "No, I'm going nowhere. I'm staying. I'm a club. I'm staying at Fulham." The likes of Phil Ford and Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford at United. Uh, Kim Ming Jae won't. They won't be. Uh, having a problem with him then we're roberto famino uh, who is uh leaving uh already left actually mm, i must say already left i think uh, has he left liverpool yet i think already then uh, likes of bukayo uh, son young men uh, we could see a reunion in the premier league son a uh, son a uh, son young men and kim min jay uh, all of them being south korean football players definitely uh, Premier League reunion couldn't uh, do him bad. No same club, but Premier League, you know what I mean? And then uh, Callum Wilson, uh, who's been playing for Newcastle United, Arch Adams and uh, Julian Alvarez, very good one. Uh, Antonio, a good one. Our knee, who is a very, very, very problem child, problem boy, Taiwo, our knee, very big problem. But if you've got if you've got Kim Ming J in your defense, you've not got to worry about a person like Taiwo Awanie, uh or Martin Odigard, Bukayo Saka, no. Not even Alexis McAllister. Anyway, 
I think uh, that's what I had for you about Kim Ming Jae. As I'm telling you, Kim Ming Jae, uh, his transfer is definitely getting on. His transfer is almost done. And Manchester United is working quite a lot to make sure that this transfer is secured and it could be uh, Manchester United's first done deal. Once it is a deal that is done, sealed and confirmed, we will be more than happy to come here and give it to you straight as it is, tell you exactly what is happening. Otherwise, thank you for being part of the United chapter. Make your point, subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss a turn where Ava we've definitely got to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is Manchester United related right up here at the united chapter with me your host abu carls as i tell thank you and goodbye for now